there. I'm Chris Rachel Lewis with the Austin Post and Fanboy TV, and we are here with the Austin Bike Zoo to talk about some of their amazing creations. What's your name, sir? I'm Jeremy. And right now we're next to a giant owl that happens to be rideable, right? Yes. How did this come to be? Well, um, I mean, the Austin Bike Zoo. Yeah, how did, please. The Austin Bike Zoo started because I've always been known to build big bikes. I've been known for building big bikes and other people who were puppet makers, namely Sachi, Sachi Deku, she approached me wanting to work on the Austin First Night Parade, which we did. And then I took it very seriously and we started making more animal bikes. And now that's what we do, that's what I do. About how many are there now? About 12, 10 to 15, depending on how you count them. <laughs> I mean, this, it depends how you count them, really. When you say depends on how you count them, do you mean you're taking some of them apart and using for parts for different things? We do that sometimes. But also just, I'd have to really count. I mean, we've got like 20 of them. So what does it take to make something like an animatronic owl that people can ride? Time and help <laughs> and experience. Well, on a technical and level, what type of skills do people need for something like that? It depends on how, how you want to do it. I, the way we do it is with bike parts and metalworking and sculpting and painting. About how long does it take to make something like this? This we've been working on this for a long time. <laughs> we've been, I, there's no easy answer for that okay. because the frame was first built a couple of years ago as a dragonfly. Uh -huh. So there's no real easy answer. I mean, we've definitely been working for months and months, and then so. And so, where all can people see uh, Austin Bike Zoo stuff? I, I've seen you in lots of places. Yeah. Well, you can see us here at the Austin Mini Maker Fair. You can see us at Art Outside. That's another event that we do. Uh, we've been doing the Downtown Austin Alliance Holiday Stroll. That's another one. And uh, you can also book us if you want us to come to your house. <laughs> so somebody could have a crazy 30th birthday. We're like, by the way, there's a dragonfly outside and an owl. And yeah. you're going to ride them both. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Do you actually get requests like that? Yeah, we've done weddings and birthdays. Wow. I'm just trying to picture like a wedding with all of this. That would be amazing. Look on our website if you want to picture it. Okay. Just take a look. There's pictures oh. of it. So I know it's like faxing you to pick between your babies. So which are your top three favorite builds that you've seen? Top favorite three what? Top th your three favorite builds out of these bikes. Oh, uh, of ours? Uh -huh. Well, there's always, I mean, you know, the snake is always going to be a favorite. The carousel is really, really awesome, and the butterflies are really, really awesome. The butterflies are gorgeous. You know, and then this owl is really, really awesome, so I can't say. You know, and then we have a bat that's really good, too. So. so do you have any plans for the future as far as other bikes that you're already in the process of building? We've tossed around a bunch of ideas, yeah, sure <laughs> enough. Come to an event and see to find out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Sure.